sweet fellow. Hey, everybody. Hi. Good afternoon. It's uh, two minutes, three minutes after 12, so I can say oh, that's good afternoon. Hey, just to start with, thank you so much for joining us uh, with this session about uh, the felt balances and weaknesses. We will start with a question for you. It's going to be a bit interactive session. The first question is, who of you know what you're really, really, really not good at? Raise your hand, what you're not good at. Yeah. Don't be shy, what's up? No, what you're not good at. So, and now the second question, please raise your hand, if you know what you're really good at. There's less people than Khan. All those people with the door was here. But um, so remember this. Um, there are more hands raising what you're not good at, and less hands in what you're good at. So let's start with this uh, presentation. Yeah, so uh, as Mario said, we're going to talk about uh, what we experience at uh, Synetic and what we call the ultimate filter change. Um, by focusing on developing our talents instead of our weaknesses. So, let me see. Uh, I have to put it on first, of course. Um, first of all, who we are. My name is Hans Weesbeek. I am a, a senior software engineer at Synetic for almost 10 years now. Um, and I am a strength enthusiast, and I hope you will too uh, after this session. My name is Amar van der Boort, I'm the owner of the company Trailblazer of People, and I'm really, really enthusiastic about uh, helping people to develop their talents. So yeah, uh, as I said, I work at Synetic. Um, Synetic is based in uh, Ireland, next to the uh, Ireland Central Station. We have around 40 uh, full-time employees. Um, and as we said, we are a strength-based company, more on that later. And we are working with Drupal, uh, Symfony, Laravel, Vue, uh, Shopware, amongst uh, So, why is it strange, but okay. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to, to tell you why uh, we are uh, giving this presentation, the reason why uh, we, we are giving this presentation. So, to do that, we have to go back a few, a few years ago. Um, uh, at Synetic, there was, at that moment, um, well, we had some problems. There was a growing sense of unhappiness and uh, engagement. Some development teams were struggling to uh, finish their projects or manage deadlines, uh, and the rates of absent rose. So we had to take action because otherwise it, it, it would uh, be devastating. What we did is that um, uh, one, uh, 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 one member per team, so a delegate per team, they formed a working group together, um, and they were on the quest to find the right tooling uh, methodology to well, become really good at working together. Um, multiple options were explored, such as the uh, inside discovery. You might uh, be familiar with the ones, uh, one with the four color cordons. Uh, um, and Clifton Swank was also uh, amongst them. Um, and, uh, well, the, the work group made a decision to go for the Clifton Swank methodology, and uh, because uh, everyone uh, of us, uh, someone of, of a team was involved, there was a broad support within the whole organization to adopt uh, such uh, methodology. And after that, we started with the first assessments uh, uh, of the Clifton Strengths uh, 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 at the, the online assessments. So, why do we want to share this with you? Uh, first of all, the results really impressed us. Um, by doing this, we, we, we shifted to be in becoming a strength-based organization, and it really helped us uh, form teams and, and, and really work together on a, uh, on a good basis. And we also grant everyone to work in such an environment. So by experiencing it yourself, yeah, uh, I, I am really enthusiastic about it. So, and we feel that this way of uh, collaboration and getting to know yourself is valuable for everyone. So Mari, tell us more about talents and weaknesses. Yes. So um, talents and weaknesses are two completely different things. Maybe go to the slide. Yeah. We start with this, uh, with this quote. It's a quote from Peter Drucker. Uh, he was a professor on Harvard and more uh, universities. And he did lots and lots of research about talents and weaknesses. And this is what he found out. Most people think they know what they are good at. And they are usually wrong. 
And yet, a person can perform only from, from strength. So that's thinking. If you think you're good at, maybe you're wrong, eh? And, uh, and then you can only be successful working from, from, uh, from talent. So, what are talents? So, please read with me. Talents are natural recurrent patterns of thought, feeling, or behavior that can be predictively applied. So, this is the way how you behave all the time, the decisions you make in the nanoseconds. Really, really quickly, the way how you approach people, the way how you learn, the way how you finish your work, the way how you lead, this all comes from talents, so your natural behavior. These are talents. So when you use talents, these are some points how you can recognize talents. So you do this all the time, right? So when you use a talent, the time goes really fast, it brings a lot of energy, and the work can be done quickly and easy. Everything goes really well. And you are in a flow, and everything runs smoothly, and you feel happy. Really, you have a lot of happiness doing the job, and you have excellent results. So the outcomes are great when you're using your talents. But weaknesses, the opposite, anything that gets in the way of your success, and please agree with me, specific, spe specific behaviors to prevent people from realizing the full impact of, and return on, the expression of the talents. So these are things that get in your way to be successful. Those are weaknesses. And you can recognize weaknesses by this. It costs you a lot of energy, you dread the work, you really, really dislike doing it, you experience love and difficulty, and it takes way too much time. Also, the results are not that great, you experience stress really doing it, you feel annoyed, and you don't experience pleasure at all. <laughs> Do you recognize this? <laughs> some of you doing this, I see some people nodding. Yeah. So, we said we're going to have some interaction today. So, yep. what are we going to do, Hans? Um, well, first of all, I want you to all grab your phone, your laptop, anything with an active internet connection, uh, an extra browser. Um, and go to the uh, menti site, menti.com, and use the code 19561085. And yeah, menti.com, is it at the top? Yeah. menti.com and the code 19561085 yeah and we have a question there and uh, that's people who invest in their talents are more likely to achieve their goals experience high quality of life or be more confident what do you think It's a uh, will explain a bit more about it in the first Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
we will do some more menti.com stuff, so please uh, stay logged in uh, if you use your phone or laptop, because otherwise you will have to read on it. Um, but okay, let's go back to our presentation. So, um, Amari will tell you more about how you can discover your own talent, but that's, I think, the key uh, here. Yeah. yeah, indeed. So we start with rethinking talents. It's a beautiful picture of uh, Jeff <laughs> sitting right there, <laughs> working at Synetic. Hey, uh, rethinking talents, because why do we need to rethink them? Because in our society, we focus a lot on what we are not good at. And then we, I ask a question like, how many people know that I'm good at? You see many hands rising. Um, maybe you experience like maybe an interview once and they ask you what you're good at and you just say like I'm a good arranger or something. It's really difficult to, to explain what it is. And um, in our society they're really focused on fixing what you're not good at. Maybe like also in universities or companies do this. And if you're not good at something they encourage you to develop those things. Like you should go to a course or you know, uh, talk to somebody who's good at this so you can grow in your weaknesses. So I want to share something with you why this is the other way around. I mean, I think that's also a lot of Dutch people here. Rethinking is also maybe the word omdenken. Like think really differently about this. It's difficult though. So invest in tennis on the weaknesses. It's not what we do in a society. But most people invest in weaknesses. So there's no such thing as fixing a weakness. You can manage a weakness, you can, truly, you can truly fix it. So if you know your weaknesses and your talents, you can not learn how to manage around it and use your talents to um, uh, not have any trouble with your weaknesses. Also, investing in, in, uh, in talents has a, a mainless growth, huge, huge growth. And investing in weaknesses has a little tiny growth. And you experience lots of um, um, a loss of energy. So, and this is like a side kind of a, a, a song. We say a regensel. In English, it's so. What's the word? Song. <laughs> I know. So your talents can grow into uh, a strength. So, a talent is a natural way of thinking, feeling, and behaving. Right? I just told you that. So, thinking, feeling, and behaving. Natural thing. That's a talent. If you invest in your talent, you must know your talent first. Invest in your talents, so it's time spent practicing and developing your skills and building knowledge, is a strength. And a strength is the ability to consistently deliver near perfect performance. So uh, that's when you really start to stand out. When people say about you, oh, for this, this, and this, and this, you need to go to him or her because he really, or her is really, really good at this. It's standing out using, using your strength. Let me give you an example. For instance, if somebody has the talent communication, that's a real talent. So people with a talent communication, they, uh, most of the time they like words. Like if they hear a new word, they like to adopt it. Like really look it up, like what does it mean? And then try to use it in a new sentence, in a sentence in the way they're speaking. Some of people with communication like speaking or writing, everything kind of with words. If this person would like to become an excellent speaker, they can take the time to invest in this communication talent by training, presenting, and studio examples. So let's go to, if they want to be an influential speaker, they can go like to somebody who's really good at it, can you help me to become really better or follow our training or so. And then become really, really excellent speaker. And this person, um, uh, but by using this talent, will experience lots of well, energy and joy and things going right and good, and then growing, the growth will be really, really quickly. So, now we're going to do an interactive thing. So you all found a paper and a pen on your chair. I hope the people in the back also have a paper because there are more in the front here. If you're not, maybe please raise your hand. If you don't have a paper, there are two in the back below the paper. So I'm asking to think about a moment of happiness. <laughs> maybe it sounds a bit cheesy, but let me tell you. So think back to an activity in which the time flew by you experienced lots of fun and got energy from doing that. You were in the flow and everything went very well. What you did was easy and the results were really, really good. So think about something that was so great you did that you would like to do it again. It can be uh, something personal, private. 
like when you're with your friends or sport or family or in your work. If there's something in your work that you thought like this is so great, I want to do more often, I would wish I could do more often. So think about that for a moment now, and then they ask you to write something down. People are talking about it. So this is the questions you can use for writing it down when you think about that specific moment. So write down what did you do? What did I do? What was it really? And which tasks did I do? And did I work together or alone? And what made it go so well? And what was different this time? Because why are you picking that specific thing that you did? And which part of the happiness moment would I like to do more often and why? We give you a few minutes now. I know this is not easy, but think about it a little bit. Just challenging you to think about your talents. So we give you a few minutes and you can write in silence, okay? And maybe good to know that writing this down will also help you with the next uh, activity. So really try to think about what this specific thing you did was. Lots of thinking faces still, people writing. <laughs> it's not easy yet to, uh, to get some idea about it. <laughs> Some people still thinking. Maybe it's also good to think about something you did like yourself, maybe a hobby or something. If it's difficult to think of something from work or Okay, let's move on. So, I saw a lot of thinking faces. Some people are having difficulty writing stuff down. Some people did write down the whole page, actually. I saw some of you. I can imagine it's not really, really as uh, simple to do this right on the spot here, right? It's not, uh, well, but it's easy to find something that you really, really enjoy and what is it. So, I want to tell all this a, a little bit about it makes it a little bit easier to find out these things. So, like Hans told you, we use uh, Clifton Strengths Assessment, and we'll tell you a little bit where it's coming from, what it is. So, um, Don Clifton uh, was, a, was a guy who was really interested in this question. You can see it there in the, the computer thingy there. So, he asked himself, what will happen when we think about what is right with people, when you think saying what's wrong with them? That's already the rethinking thing, right? That's on Denken. Um, uh, so he really wanted to research this, and he did it together with Gallup. 
And they started a research for over 50 years. They started this right after their second world war. They um, interviewed back then 2.2 million people all over the world on all sorts of cultural backgrounds. And they, you can imagine that was lots of data they got from all these interviews. And they interviewed specific people. They interviewed people who stood out in something. So like, why are you a really, really good taxi driver, or teacher, or entrepreneur, or sportsman, or something like that? People who stood out in something. They interviewed all those people, took back the data, and it was 50 years of research. They discovered that there are 34 tenants from this research. And they created an online assessment, which is really, really powerful because the results are amazing. They are specifically right. They say the results are 74% if you do it again. That's a really, really high result. That means they're a little bit shifting in answers. So that's uh, um, really amazing that they uh, they, uh, they did this research in 50 years. It's uh, adopted by the positive psychology. And right now, 27.6 million people have used this assessment all over the world. So, all right. next and third thing, guys. Yeah. Um, so, if it's, uh, you still have the menti.com uh, open, I, I believe. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, lot, uh, a new uh, interaction thing. So, let me just uh, move this one up. Right. Um, so the question is, which talent resonates with you the most? And you see, you have four uh, possible answers. So I'm going back now to the presentation because we have to show you um, that Amaria just said there are 34 talents, and these are the 34 talents that uh, Gallup uh, and Don Clifton discovered by doing all the interviews. Um, we also put down the Dutch word because sometimes, for instance, developer, well, we all know in our term what developer is, but it, it means something different uh, when, when using it as strength. Um, so what we would like to do um, is for you to uh, look at each column, because each column represents a specific domain, and select a word that you think resonates with you the most, based on your well, just your gut and how you think, what strength do you have? And I know this is difficult because you you might not know exactly what it what it is, but just go on instinct. So you have four answers to do. I want you to, to, to select one um, uh, strength per column. So I'm welcome to it, Hans. So yeah. Yeah, so uh, the first column is purple, that means those talents is uh, how you get things done, so how you work, how you finish stuff. So, uh, well, some of the talents speak for themselves, maybe I can explain the talent consistency a little bit, it's compartijdigheid in Dutch. Um, consistency means that the people with these talents like to work from structure build a consistent way of working. And I also bring this in the team. They bring structure in the way of working. Consistency. And the, the, the orange ones, how do you lead? So how do you lead a team or how do you influence, really? It's influential talents. And there's one that's a bit weird. It's the W-O-O, who? -O, winning others over. That's a talent that really enjoys meeting new people. So people um, who like to go into a party and talk to people they don't know yet. And then the blue one, blue talents, the one how do I build relationships, actually the talents all from the heart. So how do you build relationships and how do you really um, interact with people? So that's the third, you can pick one there, the third one. Then, the green column are all oh, thinking oh. talents. <laughs> They're thinking talents. All this, all the head. Hey? So how do you um, learn? How do you collect information? How do you make decisions based on information? And there's one under the well, the how to say it, the camera. <laughs> and that's the word strategic. And strategic thinking is people who have um, who see a lot of possibilities in their minds, a lot of options. Very creative way of thinking. 
It's very different from analytical thinking because people who think analytical, they like, they like data and fact-based information. Just to explain a little bit. Does one of you see a talent that you like to have some more information about? For now? No? Yeah? I got lost you under the picture in picture. Uh, that's that's strategic. strategic. Strategic thinking, creative thinking, it is. Another one? There's some missing under. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> strategic. No, it's no, no, okay. I see you're all still thinking. You're all thinking about it. It's okay. Anything else? Input? Yeah, people with a talent of input, they like to collect information. So they probably use Google a lot and they like. Um, uh, they slide it up, they, they really collect, collect and have a list of information somewhere. And sometimes it's even um, uh, things collecting things. It's like collectors of information or things or important stuff to them. And it really helps with the learner talent. Learner is also a little bit of the picture. People who like to learn um, are kind of like dynamic environment, like uh, I don't want to do the same stuff the whole time. I want to work on different projects or different clients so I can learn. So maybe this resonates with you. Okay. All right. Did it, did it work all out for you? Did you all pick something? I'm still thinking. <coughs> Talent. Those are people who like a bit of speed. They like to go fast, like to start, like activate things. And uh, those are the people who are also get a little bit uh, impatient when they're in meetings and they take too long, like, oh my gosh, we need to talk about it again, let's just start. <laughs> those are activated activate talents. They really set a pace. Analytical talent, I already told you a little bit, people, people think like a structure in their minds. Really structured, and like the data. And the responsibility talent is people who feel really like inside, really responsible for things, like take ownership over all the, everything they say yes to. Like below is below, I promised it, so I need to do this. So, really nice that you put us all in, to think about your talents already. All right. Um, so now we know a bit of the talent, um, and uh, we thought it was nice if we share our own uh, top ten uh, talents um, to give you an idea how uh, well it, it defines uh, well who we are, and also it defines who we can work together. And Mario can uh, explain it very well. Yeah. So so imagine that Hans and I are in a team, and actually we're working this presentation together, and you can see that we have some of the same talents, like we both have empathy, we both have maximizer and arranger, but also very different talents, because there are a few talents in Hans top five that are actually my weaknesses. And I know this, right, because I have to the assessment. So harmony and consistency and analytical, those three talents are my bottom ones. I'm not really a consistent person, I'm not really an analytical thinker, I'm a big learner, I'm number two, but analytical, no, I'm not. So when we were working on this presentation, I could really feel um, that Hans was really consistent in creating our presentation. And it was really, really nice for me because he helped to structure it and working together. So this is actually how uh, people can work together based on talents together, on projects, on you know, for clients or whatever, how you work on together, to really like, complete, uh, complement each other. And if you know this, that uh, is so, so good because sometimes when people have talents very high and other weaknesses, it can be annoying. That's, that's the thing where the irritation thing comes from. When people get irritated from each other, or also even maybe starting to get some arguments or disliking each other, this kind of stuff. 
and this this thing having this verse in a, you know the synetic it really helped people who in the beginning didn't understand each other and now work well together really really good because they understand they need each other's talents because every talent brings success. Yeah. <clears throat> So of course, by implementing this, we uh, experienced a true culture change. So uh, I want to explain well what happened, for instance, at the assessment. So as I said, we took the online assessment. Everyone is genetic, um, and um, that was the assessment that it, it, it takes 30 minutes, and you get a top five strengths. Um, and what we did is we had an individual coaching session about the top five because it's, it's, it's at first it's good to talk and um, well. Uh, have uh, someone professional explain how your talents work for you because it can be a bit well sometimes some talents are easy recognizable and some aren't um, because they're difficult to understand and it's yeah, hard first right exactly um, and also one fun thing is that everybody uh, at Cinetic uh, unlock their the full profile because I said the, the, you get the top five when you do the assessment but everyone is so enthusiastic about it everyone wants to see the whole profile um, we also did a team session because, well, that was of course one of the, the issues we had with uh, certain teams that they were not performing uh, uh, well. Um, and that really helped understanding why, for instance, a team had, had problems finishing uh, work or managing deadlines. And it really helped uh, well, a, a true understanding of each other. Um, yeah, and how. Uh, did we become a strength based company or we are still becoming a strength based company because well one of the things Omar already said is that it takes investment and it's not uh, something that you just well do the assessment you get your top five and wow we are strength based no it takes um, well investment we, we did more individual coaching sessions to really understand your whole uh, strengths profile because um, well the top ten but also maybe strengths that you are well uh, not good at uh, what, what do they bring and how can you uh, for instance use other strengths to uh, what to work around the specific things um, the fixed teams we had uh, they dissolved and we started with specific teams per project. Um, and that led to, to, to better uh, work together. Um, we also adopted the, the, the real strength language, and by that I mean we in Synetic we talk based on the strengths, and that's uh, well a really nice thing to, to see. It goes very naturally, eh? Yeah, it does. It yeah. Way. Yeah. Uh, and also people started collaborating based on the strengths. As Omar just said, uh, for instance, when we are working together on the presentation, we know uh, 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 each other's strengths, so we know who is good at something and who isn't, and uh, how we can, uh, well, uh, share. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Help, <laughs> each other. Help each other. Help each other, indeed. And uh, last thing, we uh, also implement strength-based leadership, so our leaders, our managers, help us, um, well, become, uh, help us uh, use our strengths uh, in our uh, daily work. We also started with a strength base, and that's an online meeting we do uh, four times a year, so each uh, quarter. And that's with the whole company. And uh, the, the, the goal of that is that, that we learn more about strengths in general, um, but also the strengths of our colleagues, so better understanding, and uh, just improve collaboration. We also developed a specific tool called Porta. And uh, everyone in Synetic is in that tool, and all uh, the strengths of everyone are in that tool. Um, and you can create teams with it uh, to see how, for instance, the, the, the relations with strengths uh, are in a specific team, or yeah, just to see uh, quickly uh, what kind of uh, strengths anyone has. All right. So, I said there's a lot of interaction here, and what we are going to do is we're going to do a little quiz. And uh, in the quiz, we are going to, um, well, have some prizes. We um, made it sure that there uh, are three prizes. Um, and the prize is a uh, top five Christian strengths assessment. So that means the assessment online and uh, getting your top five. Um, and we are going to do a little bit of quiz. It's not that uh, difficult. Um, it's, it's like a group quiz, but it's also in Menti. So I hope you still have Menti open. Um, but also here it counts like it does it in Kahoot, the faster you are with uh, answering more points you get, if you get the correct answer, of course. 
This is nice, but people want to talent competition. <laughs> so who is your competitive? I really want to win. So, um, I see a lot of people coming in, that's, that's very nice, because you have to answer your, uh, uh, your name or anything. Yeah, your name. Yeah. Um, and it's important for us, because we, uh, afterwards, we, we, we see, of course, the winners. So the, the goal is simple, just be quick and have the right answer, and if you are in the top three at the end, then you can come uh, to uh, after the presentation to us, and we'll make sure you will get uh, the, the code for the assessment. But I think I'm looking at the people. Yeah. No, not uh, for you. Uh, <laughs> no. All right, everyone in the menti.com? Yeah? Yes. Then we're going to start with the first question, I think. I still see people oh, typing up. Oh. Are your names all in there? Yeah. Okay, how many talents are there? Oh, there you go, guys. Go quickly. Five seconds left. Everyone's loaded, and the right answer is three, four. Ooh, most people. Yes, yes. <laughs> so let's see who was the fastest. Let's go, Jesper. Jesper, who's Jesper? Yeah, you were fast. Incorrect. <laughs> Incorrect. All right, next question. Everybody ready? Tell them times, what is a strength? Is it time, power, effort, or... You knew it, you knew it, you forgot. <laughs> Three more seconds. That was me. Uh, yes. Most people have the parts. So let's see what it does to the leaderboard. Oh, well, Niels. Who's Niels? Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Question three. Which of the following is correct? Investing in weaknesses brings great success. You can fix your weakness if you work hard, or your strengths will develop infinity. Ooh, what do you think? Three seconds. <laughs> You're laughing. You know it? <laughs> yeah, most people know. Good. Really good. This is the, the rethinking part, right? That's in there. Ooh, Wouter! Who's Wouter? Yes. Well, it's close. <laughs> Very close. Yeah, it's really close. <laughs> All right, well, these questions were a bit easy. Uh, the last one might be a little bit hard, so... Yeah. This is the most difficult one, I guess. Yeah. But Here it comes. It. What domain does a strength woo winning others over apply to? Is it how do you get things done? How do you lead? How do you build relationships? Or how do you make decisions? There you go. That was a difficult question. It is. You yeah. have to know it. Well, let's see what's going on on the leaderboard. Yes. Assessment. So, 
we kind of finishing up how much time do we have left. We don't quite fast. Yeah? We're doing really good. We have no time. So we really, really like to learn from you what's your biggest take of this presentation. So is it something really that uh, that for like, ooh, I didn't know that, it's so nice to hear. Or um, just the take out what did you learn from this? And there's multiple answers possible. You can please type it in there and we see your answers on the screen. Please give your answer to us, it would be really great. What is your biggest takeout? Maybe more, of course, more takeouts. And they're coming in. Really nice. Talent awareness, focus on talents indeed. Positivity, yes, and positive uh, psychology indeed. Investing your strength of your weaknesses, that is a really, really big one, right? That is the rethinking and ondenken. Do what you like to get better, yeah, for sure, but that's because that's what, how you recognize your talents. Curious yeah? about my own profile. Sorry? Sorry? I'm curious about my own profile. Yeah, people are curious now, eh? And um, also, development talents is infinite. But that's correct. This is something you can work on the rest of your life. It's really something you can work on the rest of your life to develop yourself. You use your other strengths, perform better as a team. Wow, you guys did it really well. <laughs> it's not a test, of course. It's really nice. Yeah, thanks so much. All right, so Maria. Yeah, this is actually, this is actually the, the, the finishing sheet because uh, we think this is the most important thing. So why invest in your talents? And you already saw some people typing this uh, as a takeout. Your weaknesses will never develop while your strengths will develop infinitely. I saw somebody typing it already. This is the greatest thing you need to understand now, that investing your talents is a really, really great, good thing to do. But you first need to know what your talents are, right? It's really difficult to find them as you uh, were writing on your paper and thinking about what you really love to do. It's not easy because we're focusing on the things that we're not good at. It's the rethinking thing. So we'd like to give you this as a, as a final sheet to really take Richard to home and think about it. And maybe it can help you to find your own talents, eh? Yeah, so big thank you. Big thank you to uh, all of you for being here. I think we're really doing good with the time. Yeah? And uh, so uh, if you'd like to get some more information, this is uh, reference to my company. And yeah, if you would like to work at a strength-based company, uh, we still have open positions, so check our website. Um, and there's also room, of course, for any questions, so... Yeah, any, any questions? Yeah. Did it have any results? Did, did the performance of the teams improve? Yeah, what we saw changing was that was, uh, there was less sickness in the company, and the uh, people uh, started to understand each other much better, and there was a little bit of friction, uh, it just, just uh, resolved. And um, um, people start to uh, talk about the talents and have a really, really great energy in the building in the, in the, uh, within Snetic. Yeah. Well, Maria, what we learned also a good piece of, of the results is that once we were focusing on the talents of certain people, we also tried to give them a set of uh, additional tasks or, or things they're, they're naturally good at as an option to grow in instead of, well, if you, if you want to grow, you'll be a manager and these are the sets of roles or tasks that you will have. And uh, we stopped looking at it that way to just start dividing it to people who are naturally gifted to do such things. Yeah. So everybody has their own path to grow with, with everything that they want. And Hans is one of the people who has uh, grown in that case with uh, his, his HR uh, roles and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's, that's the thing that, that changed. Maybe you can explain a little bit, Hans, your time. Yeah. What is it for you? Well, of course, uh, I can explain. Um, uh, first of all, I was, it was very, um, well, opening to see my own talent and um, to see my strength. Because, for instance, I always had the feeling that I, because I'm a developer, so I always had the feeling that I should become a good developer and I should learn all the kinds of languages and stuff like that. But I noted that, well, it, it took me a lot of energy to, to really set me to that and 
be uh, always up to date and yeah, sometimes I, I really ask myself, is it really the way I want to go? And because of my talents, I, uh, for instance, I've learned as a, as a uh, talent, I have, uh, um, well, yeah, somewhere down the bottom. And I noticed that because of, well, to see what I'm doing, then I, I already felt, of course, within me that some things um, uh, were more suited for me. I also don't, uh, well, immediately drop the urge to become the best programmer because I know, for instance, that um, my talents were more based on, uh, for, in, for instance, uh, interaction with uh, clients or people. So, yeah, that really helped me change that, that, that mindset, uh, for instance. So, yeah. Maybe we can go back to sheet work with our talents. Yeah. Because there are some specific talents you learn a lot about, hey? Good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so for instance, uh, Harmony, my number one talent, yeah, that, that was, <laughs> I, I, I already uh, thought it would be uh, my number one talent because, uh, yeah, that's just who I am. But for instance, Empathy is a, a talent that I had quite some difficulty understanding and Amari really helped, uh, well, understanding how Empathy, the talent, works for me. Um, yeah. Can you tell a bit about that, maybe? People are still listening. Maybe uh, how is empathy working for you? Um, well, uh, may I? Well, <laughs> 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 I can explain the, the, the empathy talent. People with high empathy, they really feel things without let it, without uh, uh, let it set by words. So you sit next to somebody and you can really sense like, oh, this this, this person uh, doesn't have a good day, and this person didn't say anything to you. It's really feeling something. And uh, some people are recognizing it in the front. Yeah, it's it's a really a sensing of like an atmosphere and some kind of you know. Also, when you walk into a room, or just when you speak to people, there's something going on. That's empathy. And really, really hoog um, inlevensmogen. Uh, so what's inlevensmogen in English? I forgot. Inlevensmogen. They can really sense people. Yeah. So we really talked together about how this is working for Hans, because in the beginning it was like, I had a high empathy, but later on you really discovered it, eh? Because when you have people around, or what's your movie, or with your children, yeah. it's something that really uh, resonates with you. Yeah. <laughs> Any more questions? Yeah? Uh, when did you guys start this process of uh, cultural change? Uh, we started assessment in 2018. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's quite been, well, of course we had all the corona and stuff, so that, uh, that made it well, a lot harder to, to really um, grow in, in that uh, way. Uh, but 2018 we started with the assessments. Yeah, yeah and so FYD assessment was really was fun, like we started with FYD got their top five tenants. So you only see your first five, the one where I'm bold. But then FYD loved it so much, it was such great energy to build, and then people started to to um, wanting to see the rest of the outcome. And it's possible because there are 34 talents, right? But we only saw the first five. So everybody started you know, getting for themselves the rest of the talents. And then we're all like, wow, people are really, really enthusiastic about it. That's really, you know, we move this on. So everybody got individual uh, coaching sessions um, to really, really discover how those talents really show in the daily things. Like just Hans just explained, like, I didn't really recognize empathy at first. But I had to learn how I use it in daily things. So it's really about becoming mindful. They are bewusst from work. So become mindful of the things you do every day, the whole time. Yeah. Any more questions? Take a start for lunch. Yeah. <laughs>